Hey gang, time for some learning. Have you ever wanted to mark a title or a list of titles as do not order in Book Manager? It's kind of a corner case situation, but sometimes it's nice to have a little prompt come up to tell you do not order this item and you can essentially flag any title in the system to have this flag pop up. So if you or another staff member goes to order this item, the system will warn you that you have flagged it as do not order. This can be used to flag remainders or certain products that you maybe bought too much of or, you know, just didn't work out. And so you want to tell the system, you know, keep them in stock. We don't want to delist them per se, but uh, we don't want to reorder them. This process can be done quite simply and it's actually using a field that is not often used by stores called the minimum on hand field. So if I go into the inventory screen here and look at the minimum on hand field, there's a special function where if we tag this field with a minus one quantity, that tells Book Manager to flag it as do not order. For example, if I go and use the A for adjust function, that's a quick way to jump to a title's minimum on hand, and I flag it with minus one and save that. Then when I hit O for order and I put in the quantity, it's gonna say, Note, you are ordering a title which has been flagged as do not order. Item is delisted, deleted, or the minimum on hand field is negative. So you can press escape to get past it and of course place an order, but at least you have that initial flag that will come up and warn you and your staff not to order it. This is all fun and dandy, but doing this on a large scale could be tedious if you had to scan say a hundred items one by one and mark them as minus one, there is a better way, a more efficient way to do this if you have a large selection of titles. Either a physical stack of titles in front of you or you have maybe a spreadsheet or a notepad document, you know, with a bunch of ISBNs. Um, essentially you can use uh, any combination of that to, to build a list and flag all the titles on that list with a negative one on hand. It's all done in the custom inventory reports area. So let's go to custom inventory reports and let's start a new report here. I'll just call this um, do not reorder. Cool. In this case, what we're gonna use, and this is a newer function that was released in the past year, is the tag list. So if you are uh, wanting to scan a bunch of books into the custom inventory report to manage or do particular functions with, there's a way to actually manually scan in this area. Many of you may have missed this new feature or don't know of this function, uh, but instead of going through and selecting, um, say, your entire file or a class or you know trying to build a report with filters to grab those titles, instead you can just scan manually in here using the tag list. So if I choose tag list and really the indexing is arbitrary, I just go through and enter on those. What you're brought to is the custom inventory report result area, but your cursor is placed in the ISBN field. At this point, you can just grab your scanner and start scanning away. Or in my case, I'm going to just grab a list of ISBNs from my notepad file and I'm just copying them all. So just the old, uh, you know, Control A to select all, Control C to copy, and now I can go into Book Manager and right click, and bam, all those titles are gonna be thrown into this area. Of course, again, you can just manually scan in here, that works too. Once you have items scanned in this area, simply just arrow up so that your cursor isn't in that new field. If you wanted to say, add more items to this area, you can just press N for new. That's an easy way to start adding or adding on to this list. But once you're all done, simply arrow up and make sure your cursor is not in the new field and you can press X for extra. So X for extra has an option C here. Um, we also have the option globally change contents of a selected field that will work. But in this case, there's a special made function to change just the minimum on hand. If I go ahead here and press enter on the change minimum on hand, I can then type in minus one and press enter. It's gonna say about to change minimum on hand to minus one on approximately 34 entries. Are you sure? You can say yes. 
And then everything on this report will now have a minimum on hand of minus one. Pretty easy. If you ever wanted to remove this negative on hand from all these titles, you can use the extra function again to change the minimum on hand and just set it to zero, which is effectively like blank. So I can go back and say yes, and now it's all removed. So that's a handy way of flagging these as do not order. Again, if I've got something with minus one in the minimum on hand here, uh, and I go to press O for order, whether it be here or anywhere else in the system, it's gonna flag me, you are ordering a, a title which has been flagged as do not order.